It's like doing a little booty wiggle for us. Hey everyone, it's Deli here. Welcome to playing some Planet Zoo today. We're gonna be playing the beta version, meaning that it's like the tester version. It's not the fully developed version that's gonna be coming out later in the year. So I'm excited to play this and it's actually the last day of this beta version being out. So we're all gonna have to wait for the full game to to arrive. But anyway, welcome to Planet Zoo. Basically this game is what it sounds like. It's a simulation game where you get to run a zoo. And um, it's actually quite hard. It's quite hard. It's quite relaxing as well. And I think we're gonna go with some mosaic. I actually already recorded this and ran into some tech issues with my recording. So you can see here that I've already done this pathway I'm about to do. But I wanted to start from the beginning to just give you guys an idea of how this game works. Uh, I'm also gonna get a staff path because not only do you have to look after your animals, you also have to look after your staff. And the people who come to your zoo are so smart, they even don't wanna see your staff houses near the animals. They want it to be farther, further away or else it's gonna hinder their experience at the zoo. This game's also really hard, so we're going to have to watch our cash and start off really small with the bare basics and work up gradually to something big, bigger and better. Um, but we're definitely going to need a keeper hut because we want to make sure we look after our animals. We don't need a quarantine yet. Do we want a research center? I think so, because we're going to have to research our animals in order to find out or unlock more food enrichment and toys for them to play with to make them happier. You don't start off having access to everything and knowing everything. We have to unlock that. Uh, staff building, for sure. We want to keep the staff happy because happy staff means a happy zoo. Because if they're happy, they will keep the animals happy. A uh, trade center, very important because we're going to need it to actually get our animals. And let me tell you right now, our animals are going to start off really basic. We're not going to have lions and tigers and bears because they're expensive. Although we could start off with them actually and use them as the quick way to gain traction at our zoo. Hmm, it's not a bad idea. We'll think about it. I'm also not even going to spend money on or spend money buying trees for our zoo. I'm going to use these existing ones that are on our property. And I'm going to use these to cover up our staff area or else our peoples are going to get angry that they can see the staff area. And it's even as detailed. Whoops, wrong place. Um, it's even as detailed as you needing power to run your zoo. So we're going to have to make sure we have a little power station in our utilities here. We don't need water treatment. That's to keep the water clean when we do have water in our enclosures or here at our zoo. I'm gonna place that power there. I also learned the hard way that it does need to be easily accessible. <laughs> uh, did I put that too close to the staff buildings? Anyways, I like, I don't think there's radiation from that, is there? That's like a really dumb question, but I'm like, is that a bad thing if you're too close to it? Is that like a safety issue? I don't know. Okay, so we've got all of that. Now, in terms of our guest experience before we build our first habitat, we need to get some guest facilities. Um, so, I mean, first of all, we are going to need donation boxes because that's a good way to make a little bit of money. And you don't even need toilets. Your guests really don't care. I think that might be a mistake with the beta version. So we won't use toilets for now, but we will have a little information center that acts as a little store. Now that we've got that going on, uh, I also think it's important that we have some bins. Where are our bins? Oh, here we go. We need to have some recycling in a bin because we want to make sure, why are these? They all look like recycling bins, I don't know. We need to make sure that our zoo is clean and this is where our first enclosure is going to be. So let's go ahead and build that. Let's get a glass barrier for the front so our people can see the animals that they're looking at. I'm actually going to place it in the center here so we have a little bit of room for expanding. So let's go ahead. Whoa! And I'm really bad at building in this game. You're going to have to bear with me. I know it's probably painful for those of you guys who have played these games before. <laughs> but... Even building a box was difficult for me to begin with. I'm pretty sure this is going to have to be bigger. So, oh, what did I do? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, if we click on this and we go edit barrier, I think we just drag that down. 
Oh yeah, then we can expand it a bit. Yeah, I just feel like it should be a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe that's good. Because we want our animals to be happy, right? We also need to make sure there's a little gate for our staff to get to. We don't want anyone at the zoo getting through our little gate. So will this connect? Hmm. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be a bit tricky. There we go. I mean, that looks okay. We can put like a nice, a nice tree here. Yeah, pretty cute. All right, uh, also do we wanna have glass for the whole fencing? Is that a little bit intense? Cause what we can do I think is go like uh, this. I think we can just replace these two sides with the hedge. Now animals that can climb will climb over this fence. fence. See how it says climbable and not watertight. Those are also things you have to keep in mind. Whereas brick is like grade five resistance, not climbable and watertight. Maybe we should go the brick. Although this is way, this is a bit cheaper. Nah, we'll go the brick because it's pretty. Oh, it looks so nice. I mean, there's nothing in it, but I'm still excited. <laughs> I also think that it is important that we educate our peeps looking at our zoo. So we're gonna put an education board here so they can read about the animals. Uh, maybe we should pop a couple of them just in case like there's a crowd because hopefully it's busy <laughs> so you can check that out and then let's go to the animal trading center now that we have a habitat there's two ways to buy animals one is that you can buy them with these conservation credits and these credits you gain from bringing up animals releasing them into the wild selling them in the marketplace uh, logging in daily completing quests it's kind of like an in-game currency I suppose or you just have like your cash your zoo cash so at the moment we're gonna have to do the cash listings and I don't know if we should spend a lot of money on a more exotic animal or if we just go ahead and get little animals and like I wonder if people would appreciate seeing bears or something more than like say a peafowl. Although the peafowl is pretty cool. Let's look at their fertility. This peafowl's got 33% fertility. It's not the great. Okay, no, we're not getting the peafowls. What about zebras? Zebras are pretty cool. Uh, very low fertility, Jane. Wow, we really don't have much selection today. A grizzly bear would be really cool. And this grizzly bear, does have a pretty good fertility gene. So I'm wondering if we splash a little bit of cash on Jacob, just as like the star animal. I think we will. And then we'll also get some animals to try and breed. I mean, we have a, a tortoise here, not very fertile. I mean, we could get George and Violetta. Violetta does have a really good fertility rate, so maybe we'll get these guys. I like haven't figured out yet exactly how the best way to start your zoo is. Do we buy Violetta waiting in Trade Center? I kind of want to get the bears as well, but are we doing too much too soon? I mean, this towel bear is doing pretty well as well. So let's let's get a few animals. And if we go to our animal storage, we can see the animals we just got. So let's maybe make this our tortoise uh, enclosure. So we're gonna move Violetta in. You can name your animals. So Violetta, your delivery is scheduled. And then we'll get George to move in here as well. So he's gonna move in there. Excellent. And then we'll work up to, I wonder if the bears can live together actually. I mean, I assume they're not compatible, but if we look at our grizzly bear in, where is the zoopedia over here? We can actually find out more information about them. And it's actually, it's really great because it's more realistic information into species. Oh, they don't want to share their space with no one. And I bet you the same as grizzlies, damn. Oh, and neither do the tortoises. Wow. Okay, so we got the worst animals <laughs> um, for sharing space, but that's okay. And once our tortoises are in here, we're gonna be able to put their little signs up. Oh, wait, we have no staff to, to fetch our animals. We're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna need at least one caretaker and we're gonna need a keeper. Uh, we will need a mechanic to fix any anything that's broken. We can probably get away without a vendor. I mean, without a vendor, without security, which is a bit dodgy, but 
we're going to try and not have security. <laughs> and then we're going to get a vet as well. So we kind of like have one of each. Oh my gosh, we have turtles. Oh my gosh, they're on top of each other. Oh my gosh, they're going to suffer. It's got two heads. It's a two-headed tortoise. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, we've got our two little tortoises here. Now I'm gonna pause it real quick because we wanna make sure that the enclosure is obviously appropriate for these guys. So they're hungry, they're thirsty, which is fair enough. Um, and we need to look at their habitat because their terrain isn't looking good. So if we go over here to terrain, we can see that there's too much long grass. We wanna get this little peg into the white area. So we need more sand, less long grass. So I'm gonna go get some fine sand and we're gonna make this into a beautiful space for these little tortoises. You can see here that we're almost all in the green and they also have a preference for tropical uh, flora. So if we go to nature, we can go here and select tropical and we wanna also select South Central America as well for the continent. And then we've got these pieces and they don't mind a little bit of coverage. We have a bit of room here, but they don't want too much. So we'll keep it pretty simple. Maybe we'll just put a couple of plants around and you can do a lot with this. Like you can lift things up and down. You can rotate them on all axes. I think you can make things go sideways as well, um, but we'll just put a couple of things in here. Just make it look nice. Oh, and they really need some hard shelter. Now the cool thing with this is you can, of course, in your habitat options, go ahead and buy some hard shelter, like something quite large like this. Or you can go ahead and actually build some natural shelter. And what I mean by that is you use this terrain tool. It's a great terrain tool. And you can kind of build shade by, say, building this up a little bit. So you can build a little mountain for them. Then you can go here and push into it. Let's lower the size to, oh, one seems a little small. You can actually, you know, make shelter in here. So the animal has more natural shelter, like what they would see in the real world. And it just looks a little prettier in my opinion. I reckon this looks sick. How much fun would it be to be a zoo designer? You'd have to have so much knowledge though. And I also think that maybe we're the animal's gonna feel like it doesn't have enough space if we don't flatten this a bit. Cause you know, the tortoises, they move so slowly, they're not gonna be able to get up on the hill or else they might like flip over onto their back shell and that would be so sad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Also, I think we have too much grass now. I'm just gonna put some sand in here and make that nice and easy for them. And you can see here now they have 100% hard shelter that's needed. They're looking pretty happy. They need new food and toy enrichment, which we have to unlock through studying them. Um, but let's see if they can mate. What? They have a 0% of successful conception. Why? They have fertility. Well, I don't fully understand why that doesn't work, but I do know if we research these guys more, they're gonna be able to have some more babies. So there's this vet research area here and I can actually drag Jake over here to research the tortoises. So that should help. Oh, and of course I need food. So I'm gonna go to species here. What's the species again? What are they called? A Galapagos, Galapagos giant tortoise. There we go. So they're gonna need a little bit of bedding in here. Oh, let's put, oh my gosh. The bedding is ruining my beautiful build. Okay, my little two-headed tortoise. <laughs> and you can double click on them and see them really up close. And that's really cool. And when they go in the water, their shell will get really like wet and glossy. And the graphics are really good in this game. You guys are the coolest things I've ever seen. I wish my life was just this cruisy. Look at them checking out the new space. They're like, ooh, check out my new creep. Oh yeah, you like that. I think he's hungry actually. Let's make sure that, um. You know what, we need it. Oh my gosh, look at all the people. Okay, there we go. We can click on this education board and put the information of our tortoises on it. How cool is that? Cool, so now they have food, they have water. Um, he's hungry and thirsty. He's slowly getting to the water fountain. I mean, she is, she's backing in. <laughs> look at all these people here to see the tortoises. Are we making a profit? 
Okay, we've made $187, this is good. Oh, I just found a female too, so we can have the black bears together, that's exciting. So let's build an enclosure for them too. So I think the black bears, you need to have a pretty high enclosure because they're probably gonna get out easily. But it does also mean that your, your peoples, they can't see them as easily. So what I'm actually gonna do is make like a little viewing area here. And I think if I hold shift and drag, oh yeah, we can make some steps and like a, a viewing area. I mean, it's not very accessible for people with disabilities, but I mean, at least it's something. It's a lot of steps to go up though to see. <laughs> Yay, research collected. You have discovered four items over one species. Nice. So it looks like we may have discovered some more food enrichment for our tortoises over here, which is really, really exciting. And look, they have some enrichment toys. So they have a little bowl to play with. We've got a couple of sprinklers to keep them happy, I guess. And was there any food enrichment options here? Not yet. I think this bowl is the food enrichment though. So that's really, really exciting. And if we press play, um, their welfare has gone up. Now over here, um, this is the new bear enclosure. So I've done this big terrain, which I think looks really, really cool. I really like how that's turned out. And we have our little black bears coming in here now. They're gonna be a two-headed bear in just a second. And this habitat is really inappropriate for them. So we're gonna press pause. Oh, you're so cute. Um, and check out what we need to do. So number one, the terrain is shocking for them. We need to definitely get some more grass in here that is nice and short. So let's just make sure there's lots and lots and lots of grass. So they are happy. Get rid of that long stuff. They don't like that. Let's maybe do some lighter soil around here. And it is actually going to get cold in this enclosure because I'm pretty sure these bears need to be in a cooler climate. There's still a bit of long grass around the place that they're not liking. There we go. Probably get a nice big tree in the back, actually. I don't know if they're gonna be able to climb the trees and like jump over there. I have a little bit of a worry <laughs> about that. Um, but maybe just some of these smaller purple trees are quite pretty. Holding shift, I can kind of make them grow into the mountain a little bit more like this. Hello, little one. Welcome to your little home. Oh, do you want a bed? So sweet. Oh my gosh, I love them. Look how cute he is. Oh, I could watch them forever. Okay, well, they're thirsty. Let's make sure a keeper is going to come to their hut. Oh, look, there's people up there. That's cool. One alert? What is the alert? Temperature, animal is too hot. See, I told you guys, we need to make like a cool, cool section. See, so we can get a cooler in here. Uh, maybe we'll put one just there. And then we also can put one back here to keep the animals cool. And I'm pretty sure, I've already researched them. I'm pretty sure they needed it to be negative six from memory, which you can find out from the animal Zoopedia. You just need to click on these and set them. There we go. Okay, that should start chilling down. See that? You're gonna be okay, little guy. Okay, there we go, we're jumping up now. Whew, that was stressful. <laughs> okay, and it also means I think we can make a snowy area back here if they don't mind the snow. Um, otherwise the snow will melt if you don't have a cooler, so we can just get a little snow area. I personally think the snow just like looks cool. Cool, okay, so the bears are happy. Let's maybe get our staff. Uh, I know we don't have a security guard yet. Uh, we've also completed more research for our tortoises. That's great. Let's get our research to be about the black bears now. So let's drag Jake into there. Let's check on our tortoises. How are you going, little guys? Now, how are we going? We're make wow, we're making money, you guys. How are our staff going? They're a little low on energy. Uh, hunger and thirst is pretty bad. Okay, maybe we're up to the stage where we can afford some facilities for our guests. Okay, let's get a food stall and let's, oh wait, no, that's a soda store and let's get a beef store, which means we are going to need a few vendors. We have three. 
How many stores do we have? We have three. I guess I can't work all day every day. So we're gonna need to get another vendor. Vendors are kind of expensive. Oh, and our information center is in high demand. Oh guys, we got some vet research on our black bear and it looks like we have a few more items for them. Oh, look at this. We have a fire hose bowl for them to play with. Well, that's exciting. There you go, buddies. Have a couple of those. Uh, and we also have a roller feeder. So this is going to be much better for them in terms of their food and enrichment. So maybe we'll put that roller feeder. I mean, do they really want to eat right where the guests are? It's hard because you want the animal to be happy, but you also don't want them to feel like they have to be stressed about all the people watching them. Also, why is this feeder never, never filled up? Maybe we should just get rid of this feeder here. There you go. Do you want to use your new little feeder? And let's see if these guys are going to be able to make babies. Zero percent. I just don't understand why not. Why when they both have decent fertility? Is that just because we need that fertility bonus? I'm not sure. <gasps> Whoa. She's, oh my gosh. These guys are like quite quite quality bears for trading. Nothing makes me happier than seeing all of these people enjoying the zoo and us having happy, healthy animals. Oh no, we're going into, we definitely hired too many vendors. I'm sorry, you guys have to go. You have to go, mate. And Xavier, I know you just started, but we're gonna have to let you go. We have our one grizzly bear, Jacob. We have a female with zero immunity. <laughs> Can we fix that? I don't know, should we just buy her? Let's just buy her. Okay, so we have two grizzlies coming in. Okay, I've put a couple of our grizzly bears in here, which are pretty epic. And they also need a little bit of help with their habitat. So I'm going to quickly continue finishing this off. Okay, so these bears also need a very cool climate. In the Zoopedia, it says negative 10 to negative 28. So I think that's the final thing I need to do in their enclosure. Might go to a nice negative 18. And then these guys should be very happy chappies soon once they cool down a little bit. Uh, and we also need to make sure that there is a keeper coming here to fill up all of their foods. Um, oh, you're so cute. Look at your little bomb. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute. It's like doing a little booty wiggle for us. Aw, I love these. Oh, I think he's stuck. Oh no, he's okay, he's out. Um, so feeling pretty happy, just need some food. Oh, are you gonna play with your little toy there that we've unlocked for you? <laughs> so sweet. And I love it how all the people are up here. So there's a nice viewing deck so they can see the animals more easily. Although these guys, in all fairness, are just sitting out, out under here. Are you guys gonna mate for me, please? Yay, there's a 12% mating. Okay, and their immunity is so bad. We need to definitely get a vet to look at them because we did find out a little bit more about our black bears. So let's see if we can just check on their enclosure as well. But I think these guys are, you know, pretty happy. They could do with a little hard shelter though. I'm just wondering if we can just kind of whack it, one of these bad boys in somewhere. Okay, there we go. They're happy with their hard shelter now. Gosh, all of our animals are so happy. You guys can make a baby at some point. Oh no, we have protesters because my turtle is starving. I'm sorry, where is my keeper? Feed my turtle. Feed my turtle. <laughs> okay, are you the one who's starving? Okay, I'm gonna move you, little guy, and we're gonna go set. Wait, how do I? Oh my gosh, don't vacuum up the turtle. I'm gonna put you right here near the food, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. Did you like feed them properly? That's their enrichment bowl. Make sure this keeper's doing their job properly because I want to see food here, mate. Why are you putting food there? Stop walking on my turtle. Let's put this right here. Yes, eat the food. You're so close. Eat it. No, you pushed it away. Come on, you can get the food. It's right there. Please eat your food enrichment and everything will be fine. It's like just three more steps. Okay, this turtle at this stage is like refusing to eat. 
Maybe he wants this filled up. I'm sorry, I'm trying to feed the turtle. <laughs> So anyway, guys, this is uh, Planet Zoo. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more of it. And I will have my zoo vlog from San Diego Zoo coming really soon to the channel. Once I get the footage, I will edit it and put it up for you guys. And yay, finally, the turtles are actually being fed. So I'm very glad about that because that was painful um, watching these turtles stuff. <laughs> Thanks so very much for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dak Dak!